little more than two weeks until the November midterm elections, and one of the hottest contested races is between incumbent Democrat Mike Levin and Republican Brian Marriott for the 49th Congressional District. And this is a newly redrawn district that lost part of San Diego County and added more territory from Orange County. Joining us now from Carlsbad to talk about the campaign, and his campaign is Congressman Mike Levin. Congressman, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here. You're seeking your third term in office. If you are reelected, what's going to be your top priority? Well, thank you, Andrew, and thank you, Maria. You know, it is such an honor to get to serve this community. We are working around the clock here in our Carlsbad office, also up in Orange County as well. And we have so much more work to do. Our, our district is really unique in that we have 52 miles of beautiful California coast. And so we've got some big issues like the rail corridor connecting San Diego and Los Angeles. That's going to require billions of dollars of federal investment over many years. Uh, we're heavily invested uh, in that already. And then, of course, uh, San Onofre and getting the nuclear waste off our coast. That's a, a very unique uh, issue. And uh, with a background as a clean energy advocate, uh, working on these issues for a long time, uh, I can't wait to keep going. We're just getting started. Then, of course, everything we're trying to do for our veterans. I'm so proud we've gotten 19 veterans bills signed into law in my three and a half years uh, serving on the Veterans Affairs Committee, both by the former president and the current president. But there is so much more to do. We are just getting started, and I can't wait. Congressman, inflation and obviously soaring energy prices are hurting families. I don't have to tell you that. What do you think needs to be done to bring those prices under control? Well, what we have tried to do and what I personally have been leading on is uh, asking the federal government, demanding the federal uh, government investigate uh, California's oil refineries uh, and uh, also the price gouging that's going on by the oil companies. Uh, you know, just in September, we have 17 oil refineries throughout California, six of them all shut down at once, just based on the costs and the profits of those six refineries. We saw a $1.54 increase per gallon at the pump. That is outrageous. It's unprecedented. And uh, I led the way in Congress demanding a federal investigation. Uh, just the same, we have to reduce our dependence on foreign oil, and it won't happen overnight but it's got to happen. I'm doing all I can to accelerate our transition to a more sustainable future. We've got, away, got to get away from the Vladimir Putins uh, and the Saudi Arabias of the world, uh, and we can do it with domestic clean energy. And we all want energy independence. I think the key is I want clean energy independence. So we're actually uh, fighting to reduce those costs when it comes to gasoline, groceries, housing, and so much more. Unfortunately, on the other side, I don't see real solutions. All I see is a lot of finger pointing uh, at us, and uh, I don't see a whole lot of substance. Well, that's a great segue into this question, Congressman. When you're there in Washington, what's your take on the apparent division that we see across the country as Americans? Is there much effort to work across the aisle? Is there all that finger pointing you're talking about? Is it just become more and more difficult the further we seem to be dividing red and blue? Well, I am doing everything humanly possible to develop relationships and to work across the aisle to get big things done for our uh, community. And uh, it has been working. As I said, uh, in my three and a half years, we've gotten 20 bipartisan bills for our veterans, for our environment, for our community. Uh, the bipartisan infrastructure law, I think, is a great example as well, bringing already uh, tens of millions that will bring ultimately billions of dollars uh, to our region. And then, of course, the Bipartisan Chips and Science Act. Uh, really uh, making sure that we are doing a lot more domestic manufacturing uh, and assembly of microchips and semiconductors. So there are so many things that we need to work on together. Uh, but what, what I worry about more than anything is we've got to stand up and fight for democracy. We've got to stand up for free and fair elections. And uh, ultimately, I long for uh, the days when uh, the Republican Party was represented by people like John McCain and Bob Dole, George H.W. Bush, you know, Ronald Reagan, uh, compared to what we see today with this cult of personality. And I will always stand up for our democracy and for the rule of law, and it's got to apply to everybody in this country equally. And I know there are a lot of Republicans out there who agree. All right, then very quickly, we've got very little time. Can you give us your take on immigration right now? Well, we need bipartisan, comprehensive immigration reform. And in the House of Representatives, we've already done the DREAM Act to help our dreamers. We've done the Farm Workforce Modernization Act to modernize our guest worker program. This is personal to me. You probably wouldn't guess, but my mom's parents were Mexican immigrants. Uh, my dad's parents, Eastern European. Uh, and so uh, I saw it as uh, my grandparents were able to make a better life uh, for uh, their future generations. I'm their youngest grandson. 
uh, and uh, they didn't even graduate high school, but all five of their daughters graduated college. Now their youngest grandson is a member of Congress. That's how it's supposed to work. I'd like to believe that's how it should still work. Also in San Diego County, since we are a border region, we've got to be considering uh, the legal immigration that happens every day and speeding that process up. And that's why I'm so excited to have worked with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle on Otay Mesa, $150 million federal investment. Because when you consider the border in our region, that's a quarter trillion dollars a year in economic output for our region. So we've got to get comprehensive reform done, and I'm going to fight as hard as I can to do it. Congressman Mike Levin, we appreciate you joining us today. Coming up on Monday, we Thank will you. talk to the man challenging you, uh, Republican Brian Marriott. Thank you, Thank Congressman. You. Thank you. And if you're in Carlsbad, come volunteer. We'd love to see you. We've even got the Padres on. <laughs> very good. There you go. Congressman Levin, thank you very much. Going